Joshua Tree's Barker Dam Trail is a nice and easy trail that is only 1.3 miles round trip. This hike has everything from wide open areas covered in Joshua trees to narrow rocky canyons, Indian petroglyphs, and of course, the Barker Dam. The trail is really easy to follow and there's only one decision that you have to make and it is at this fork right here. It is a loop so you'll end up right back here either way, but we went left. By going left, you will be getting to the Indian petroglyphs first before you get to the dam. If you are attempting this hike in the summer, please be sure to bring plenty of water. Even though the trail is only 1.3 miles round trip, there's practically no shade and it can get very hot. When we arrived at the petroglyphs, we were both pretty bummed to see that someone had painted over them. When we got home, we did some research and we were shocked to find out that the culprit was actually Disney. They actually painted over the petroglyphs to make them show up better on film in the 1961 movie, Chico the Misunderstood Coyote. So go to your room, Disney, you're grounded. From the petroglyphs, it's a short walk over to the start of the climb up to Barker Dam. The entire elevation gain is only 64 feet, so pretty much anyone can do it. We visited in November and the dam was bone dry. It was kind of a bummer because we wanted to see it with all the water in it, but it gave us a chance to get down inside the dam and explore a little bit. It's pretty amazing seeing how much the water level, or lack thereof, can fluctuate here. In some areas, it looked like the water could be 10 to 15 feet high, and this is a large space, so it would take a lot of water to fill this up. And here we have V doing her best Price is Right impression to show off the water level lines on the rocks. Not only is the dam a cool spot to explore, but it has a lot of historical significance as well. Its origins date all the way back to the early 1900s. It started off as a simple natural tank, but then it was built up to the dam that you see today by the Barker and Shea Cattle Company. We were trying to wait to make this video until after it rained a little bit and filled it up, but we don't know when that's gonna be. Even with recent rains, some of our sources have said that it is still empty. All I know is we're gonna be keeping a close eye on it and you better believe that the next time we hear that Barker Dam is full of water, we're gonna be on our way out there. Because as you can see in the pictures, it is beautiful when it's full. After spending some time exploring the dam and filming V's audition for the Summer Games High Jump, we got on our way to finish the hike. This side of the hike is just about as different as you can get from the first half of the hike. Instead of wide open plains, this part of the trail is through narrow rocky corridors. Barker Dam is a really fun area to explore and it is definitely worth stopping by on one of your next trips to the park. Have you ever been lucky enough to visit this spot when there was water? If so, let us know in the comments below. If you enjoy our adventures, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified when we make new videos. Check us out on Instagram at thatadventurelife underscore official and for all the information about Barker Dam as well as other awesome things to do in the Joshua Tree area, head on over to thatadventurelife.com.